when swarms are on the branch of a tree, if it's within reach, it's relatively easy just to knock them off the branch into a basket. When they're on a vertical surface like this, uh, this is a young, I think a lime tree, and uh, they're wrapped around it. Um, obviously I can't cut the tree, it's a new tree that's been planted recently, and there's a post beside it to hold, it, hold the tree st straight as it grows. Um, so uh, there's nothing I can do here in the way of uh, shaking bees, so I'm going to have to devise another method. I'm going to start by using a swarm basket, uh, I'm placing it over the bees and see if I can encourage them to walk into it. That sometimes works quite well. It can take some time, mind you, uh, but I'm going to try that first because it's the, it's the line of least disturbance, should we say. So uh, let's try that and see what happens. What I'm trying to do here is take advantage of bees' instinct to move upwards and uh, into dark spaces because obviously that's, uh, that's where they live, that's the kind of place they choose to live in. And also this basket's been used numerous times for swarms before, so there's, uh, it, it obviously smells of bees and uh, that's going to be an attractant as well, we hope. So I'm just trying to sort of nudge this into place a bit, it's not easy to... Uh, support it unfortunately but we'll see what we can do okay so I've wedged the basket in place more or less and I'm just going to see if they start to crawl into it because if they do that will save me uh, a bit of work it's just that it'll take some time to, to c complete I expect it usually does um, but it's uh, it's an easy and gentle way of getting bees into a into a basket. I've put my sheet over the top of them to create a bit more darkness in the hope that that will help to encourage them to go move upwards. The occasional spray of water seems to encourage them as well. I, I know I could use smoke here, but. I prefer not to use smoke if I can avoid it, and I generally can. There is some movement. Uh, there are some bees going upwards, but it's pretty slow. I shall just have to be patient and have a cup of tea while I'm waiting. There is some curiosity about the basket, definitely, but it's uh, for relatively few bees seem very interested in it at the moment. It seems to be the case with swarms that they gather on a suitable shrub or some post or a spot where they can rest and they go into a state of semi-dormancy which is, I guess, why they appear to be so placid most of the time. And uh, what they're doing, I think, is conserving energy while uh, the scouts go out and find a suitable place to, to move into. Uh, possibly also while the queen is um, recovering her ability to fly, because, of course, uh, a laying queen is too heavy to fly, so she has to be uh, put on a diet just before swarming, about a week before swarming. And... Um, so she may not be in fit condition. These bees have only travelled about 100 yards from their hive and they are clearly, uh, or apparently, should I say, resting um, while they find their new permanent home. They're not showing any huge interest in this basket. Uh, there's only a casual couple of bees wandering around inside. The rest don't seem that keen. So I think I'm going to try a different method here because I could be here literally all day and I do have other things to do. So I'm going to try a slightly uh, different method to uh, see if I can get them into this basket. So my next attempt is going to be uh, to, to get them into the basket by a little bit more direct means. And I'm using this little table just to get the basket uh, to the right height. And you'll see 
in a moment, I hope, how that works. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So what I'm going to do is to just uh, grab handfuls of bees and just put them on the table and let them walk into the basket. Now sooner or later I should get the queen um, or at least enough bees to signal the rest to come in. Now whether that's with or without the queen we'll see but I think we should be able to get the queen. Now they're a little bit stingier than I would like. I've had three or four stings so far, but that's okay. Um, don't mind paying that price. But uh, so we'll just persist gently. There's always going to be a certain amount of, how should we say, dynamic tension between bees wanting to go into the place that looks like a hive or looks like a home and bees wanting to go back to where they think the queen is or actually in this case know the queen is because I'm pretty sure we haven't got her yet. Um, however, there's quite a lot of fanning going on along around the edge of the basket which is, uh, which is good because that's going to draw bees there out of the air but I think the bulk of the bees are obviously still on the post and so uh, we'll go back to the post and do a little bit more collecting. I think um, it's come to the point where I need to start shaking bees off in a slightly more volume. So I'm going to use the only container that I've got to hand, which is my trusty Orvis hat. So I'm going to shake these directly into that.
Now, I don't know whether the um, Orvis company is aware of this use for their clothing, specifically their, um, their hats. I, I can't remember what, what this one is called, but it's definitely my favourite uh, of the Orvis range. I, I, this, this, I'm not sponsored by the, by the way, by Orvis, sadly. <laughs> yeah, but if they want to send me a nice fishing rod in, in, to thank me, they're absolutely welcome to do that. Um, but uh, this is a, a, a kind of useful container, emergency container for uh, grabbing handfuls of bees. Of course, what we want to see here is bees walking into the basket. And I've propped the uh, basket up with a small stone to give them a, an entrance and there's lots of fanning going on. It's quite possible that we've got the queen by now and uh, obviously I hope that is the case because that will make our life simpler. I'm going to spray the top of the basket with water just to keep it cool. And here's the uh, Another load of bees. Go to see the hat. Once the bulk of the bees are out of the tree or the um, post in this case, uh, then it's a good idea to aerialize them because they're going to hopefully fly once they're in the air. They're going to be attracted to the scent of the colony, which is now mostly in the basket. So we want to uh, pick up the rest of them and to save having to keep taking handfuls of them and putting them onto the sheets uh, we can do it relatively easy way by putting the bees in the air i think another use for this uh, this hat is going to be to keep some shade over the top of the skep. It's a hot sunny day today, probably one of the hottest of this year so far. Uh, it's mid-June already and we haven't had many hot days at all, but uh, the last couple of days have been pretty warm, so swarming is at last getting going. Once we've got to the stage where most of the bees are in the basket and the rest are definitely heading towards it, we can start um, applying a little bit of, uh, of the water spray just to give them the idea that, you know, the weather's going to change and maybe they should get indoors. That uh, speeds the process up a little bit. There's very few bees left now on the tree or on the post over here. Very few in the air and it's progressing nicely now. So we can be confident that the bees are gonna stay in that basket for long enough for us to take it away. Now, of course, if I'd been patient and had all day to hang around, the uh, bees would eventually have walked, and walked into the basket of their own accord, uh, but um, I have other things to do today and, uh, well, my patience has its limits, shall we say. So <clears throat> we've done it the uh, slightly accelerated way this time and uh, that seems to have worked nicely. Bees are all in pretty much. There's a few stragglers but nothing much. Um, we'll just pop those last few in and the ones in the air uh, will join them mostly. There's usually a few stragglers left behind. In this case we've got actually no bees at all, well, no, maybe one. Um, virtually no bees in the tree or on the post. They've all voluntarily joined us in the basket. So that's good news, isn't it? So in a moment, I'll wrap this basket up and take it away. We'll pop them straight into a hive. I should also say that uh, when you're transporting bees in hot weather like this in a car, uh, I use a skep all the time because it's got uh, quite a decent amount of natural ventilation. Air can get permeated uh, through the windings of the straw. Um, I also wet it thoroughly with uh, my water spray, 
which helps it to keep cool. And also I wrap it in the, uh, in the blue sheet here. Um, it doesn't have to be blue, you can use any color you like. Uh, I wrap it in the sheet and I dampen the sheet as well. Okay, they're all wrapped up apart from a few stragglers and I may let those in uh, just because I feel sorry for them and then we'll pop them in the car and take it away and put them in a hive. <laughs> 